This is BBC World News, our top stories. After decades of neutrality, Finland and Sweden say they plan to join NATO in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. President Biden says America must do everything to end hate-filled domestic terrorism after a gunman killed 10 people, most of them black, in New York State. I'm Kathy Nyana Seagram, coming up on Sport Today. In 15 minutes' time, despite a draw against West Ham, the destination of the Premier League title still rests in Manchester City's hands. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. Finland and Sweden have abandoned their military non-alignment and announced their intention to join NATO in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The alliance's Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has described the move as historic, while President Putin, talking of Finland, described the plan as a mistake. Just a reminder, NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It's a military alliance formed in 1949 by 12 countries, including the US, UK, Canada and France. And after the Soviet Union's collapse in 1991, many former Eastern Bloc countries joined NATO. Sweden and Finland, which has a more than 1,300 kilometer border with Russia, want to join now soon after NATO foreign ministers who are meeting in Berlin said they wanted a rapid accession because of the Ukrainian crisis. Our Europe correspondent Nick Beek reports. They claim Vladimir Putin's war has brought them closer together.